Hello and welcome to the Bird Tales. I just finished up a great hunt with Gilligan where we got ourselves a pair of wet ring necks. How you doing, Gilly? Yeah. And despite shooting a Minnesota limit of pheasants, I'm still disappointed in myself. And to find out why, you're gonna have to wait until the end of this episode. Because first, I have to tell you about my previous week of bird hunts. So last Saturday, where the previous episode ended, Gilly and I went out on some county forest land for rough grouse. And it was blizzarding and windy, and then it switched to rain, and then back to snow, and it was miserably cold. And uh, I just happened to look up once and see a rough flying above the treetops. I'm assuming Gilly flushed it off to my right somewhere. And it looked like it was gonna go down on the edge, so we started walking over that way. But before we made it to that grouse, we flushed another one. So I took the advantage I had and shot that bird. We went over and looked for the first one, and we did flush him again, but he was sitting up in the top of the tree. After that, I said, enough of this. Let's get out of here, soaking wet. So we ran back to the car, called it a day. The next time I got out, I went to a walk-in access area with Skipper, and I swear, he just has the worst luck. We're in the parking lot. I'm putting his collar on him. We're about to get going. He takes off to my right or my left, I can't remember, but he was off to the side, not very far. I took a few steps, big rooster got up right in front of me. There's a rooster right here. Rooster, right there. That's my first rooster pheasant of the year. So we kept hunting, we went around all over and we never did find another bird. But we did learn something about skipper and crossing ditches. We came to the spot where we couldn't cross the ditch because it was too deep. And Skip did this big, ridiculous, jumpy leap thing, <laughs> landed right in the middle of it, went under the water, freaked out, swam to the other side, and then he would not get back across. So I had to walk way down to where the ditch got shallow just to get him back onto my come side. Come on, come on. And now it is today. Gilly and I are on a waterfall production area. And we walked way to the back side of this. Uh, I could see from the road that in the back corner, uh, one of the bean fields was harvested and it looked like a great edge. So we walked up there. When Gilly got up past me like this, I couldn't see him because of the brush, but I think he was on point over there. But I wasn't paying attention because I just saw the head of a rooster go peek up from behind some brush. So I knew he was there. So I started walking towards him. First rooster flush, I shot him. Another rooster flush. So the first bird was completely dead, but in the middle of the water. And Gilly went in there and picked him up and was swimming and dropped him. And it was kind of a hard first retrieve to be, to be trying to swim in that thick stuff with a big rooster in your mouth. So I ended up going in, going in knee deep just to get that bird. A wet rooster. The second bird was actually still alive and running. Um, he ran back into the water and Gilly and I just swam, got soaking wet, but we did find him. Come. Gilly picked him up, carried him out of the wetland for me. So that was a real plus. But then, the reason why I am a little bit disappointed in myself, when we were walking back to the car, and there's literally uh, a spot with two trees, and that's all there is, but the whole base around it is covered in gray dogwood. And I thought, I couldn't tell it all happened so fast, but I thought Gilly went on point, and I saw something hop on a branch. And my first thought was, that's a funny looking robin, because we saw so many robins out there. And as I'm looking at it, I realized it was a rough. So I was just sitting there waiting for it, and it took off from my left to right. And of course, you know how I am. If I can see the bird beforehand, I'm gonna screw it up. But I didn't screw up that rooster, so I don't know. But I just shot two roosters, bang, bang, no problem. 
problem whatsoever. And now I have this rough grouse, perfect, in the wide open, right there. Missed him, missed him, winged him. And he flew way out across the grass and I watched him my eye off the flip on, out of the sky on, and land. Gilly found him and went on point. So I went over there thinking, it's a rough grouse. It's gonna be dead right here. So I go okay. and I, I don't exactly remember. I think I might have just kick, gave a little kick and poof, up he came. Gilly was right behind him so I couldn't get a good shot. And he flew right back to where he flushed from the first time. So we went in there and, and tore it apart. We went back and forth. I probably walked through that thing 10 times, up and down and all over the place, past it, on this side of it, down into the cattails, you name it, the whole area tore it apart. I found him. But either way, that's how I'm ending my week. I got two roosters, I can't be too upset. But that's it, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for next time, see ya.